I've been on my knees and I've been praying now Palms getting sweaty, my nerves feeling heavy Holding back these tears as I see your face I'm a lucky man, <laughs> wondering how did I get you We made it this far, and now we're standing hand in hand No doubts in my heart That I found the one that's heaven sent And today is your day You look beautiful in that dress, baby Yeah, I fell for an angel Only two words for me to say I'ma say it to your face I do I do I'ma say it to your face I do I do I'ma say it to your face Walking back down the aisle here Wondering where did time go Where'd it go We took the thought of a house and a wine picket fence And made it a home This is your home, baby We made it this far And now we're standing hand in hand No doubts in my heart That I found the one that's heaven sent And today is your day Baby, yeah I fell for an angel Only two words for me to say I'ma say it to your face I do I do I'ma say it to your face I do I'ma say it to your face
Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we come before thee this day, thanking thee for all the trials and tribulations that we have had that you have brought us through. We pray to Heavenly Father that as we come, that you allow this, your children, to find joy in the joining together of themselves to each other and to family members, perhaps persons they have never seen before. And we ask the Heavenly Father that as we come, we come pleading with you in your name, knowing that we come believing and knowing that you are still in charge of our lives. And we ask, Father, that you would bless these, your children, as they shall not only go into the next day, but to be able to go into the next day with joy and thanksgiving, happiness in their hearts. Bless those who have come to share. Bless those who care. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I ask you to come today to stand before the presence of the Lord and in company with those who have come from miles away and for those who have just down the highway. We ask that you, as you've come, that you would come knowing that on this day, these two people will find life different. They will find life in abundance and they will find life together. And in getting married, May they know that they have your support, your prayers, and your concerns as their family not only grow, but grow in number as well as in love. We've come together to join this man and this woman. And if there should be any concerns as to why this marriage should not take place. You are now to speak or forever hereafter hold your peace. If the two of you are wishing for me to stop talking and get on with the business, <laughs> you may speak now or forever hold your peace. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. You may now take your seat beside your wife. The two of you may come forward. Best man. <clears throat> I require and charge you both as you will answer in the dreadful day of judgment. As you stand before the Lord living your life and your existence that you shall be disclosed from this day to one another, that you will keep one another in the share and the care and the joys of each other. We pray that as you come, you may come believing in the Lord and trusting in his word. And know that even though each day will be different, God will remain the same. We ask God's blessings upon you, and we ask God's blessings upon those who come to share with you.
you've come prepared to say a word to each other before I say a word to both of you at the same time. <laughs> you, you may now say your, make your statement. My love, Sophia. Mm -hmm. I knew you were special from the moment I first met you. On our first date, as I waited at the table for you, when you stepped in the doorway, I felt like everything in the background just stopped. The light shined only on you, and as I waved, you instantly laughed and smiled. Your smile is so lovely and so powerful. Each day I look forward to seeing you smile. It gives me purpose, comfort, stability. Even throughout the day as you walk past me in the house, I look at you just so I can see you smile back at me. I feel like the best man in the world. I love how we've connected so easily and effortlessly and how we love to share each other's interests. I never thought I would enjoy watching shows like Housewives, <laughs> Sex in the City, Bachelorette, etc. I noticed the reason why I love those shows is simply because I'm watching them with you. I have grown to love what you love, and you have done the same for me, vice versa. This is our love. I vow to always protect you and provide for you through thick and thin, no matter the circumstances. I love you. I love us. It's on. Sorry. Lemmy, I can't believe this day is actually here. The day I have dreamed of my entire life. Since I was a little girl, I dreamt of my Prince Charming, the man that would sweep me off my feet. And while you didn't come in like a knight in shining armor, you came into my life and changed it for the better when I least expected it. Let's start from the beginning. March 24th, 2018. When you slid into my life, literally, through a sweet message that I couldn't ignore, I said to you, I usually wouldn't respond to these, but you seem like a nice guy, you know. <laughs> and you know my cousin. So once I got the green light from her, sorry, I said, OK, I'll see what he's about. I'm so thankful to God that I did. I knew you were for di different from the beginning especially when I was ready to jump ship for my parents and move in with you after just six months. <laughs> While my parents were hesitant about the idea, we weren't engaged or married. I know they trusted my, uh, my instinct, and most of all, I know they loved and trusted you. I know my parents knew I was safe with you, and you could tell instantly, you could take, and they could tell instantly that you could take care of me. And that's exactly how I felt, and how you make me feel every day since day one, safe and at home. Safe, loved for every ounce of me. You don't ever make me feel. I have to question that. This is the love I have dreamed of, my life, and the love I have prayed for. The way we laugh together, support each other, confide in each other, you truly are my best friend. I love your kindness, your generosity, sweet and gentle soul. I love the way you love God, the way you love your fam on your family, friends, and people in your life. And I truly feel we are one of the lucky ones. The love we share is so beautiful, sacred, and unlike any others. I promise to protect our love every day from this day forward. I vow to be your anchor, your cheerleader, to pray with you and over you, to honor you and love you from this day forward. I promise to be patient with you when you play your video games. <laughs> to always support you at your basketball games, to learn how to prepare with love your favorite meals. <laughs> I'm going to always cheer for you, motivate you, and push you the way you do to me. I'm just so excited to grow together. I picture one day the two of us in our old age love looking back at each other and the life we created with, with children and grandchildren. We will look at each other and smile and say we did good. I love you always and forever. Let's do this thing called life together, forever, <laughs> always, yeah.
After hearing that, I'm sure you, you, you want this wedding to keep going quickly. But uh, uh, I do want to, I do want to follow procedure and I do want to make statements that most of the persons here in the audience will have heard before if they've been married before. And to those who are expecting to be married, may your marriages today allow them to know that there can be joy and happiness and a wife or a husband at the same time. I ask you to answer me as I ask these questions. Repeat after me, if you so will. I. 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 Lumiel Mitchell. Bradley. Lemuel Mitchell Bradley. Take thee. Take thee. Sophia Colley Williams. Sophia Colley Williams. For my wife. For my wife. To have. To have. To hold. To hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In sickness. In sickness. Look at her. In sickness. Uh, hell. <laughs> I don't know. In sickness. And in health. And in health. And forsaking all others. And forsaking all others. Keep thee only. Keep thee only. Unto thee. Unto thee. I, I, Sophia, Sophia, take thee, take thee, to be my, Lemuel, to be my, sorry, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have, to have, and to hold, and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, in better, in better, or for worse, or for worse, in sickness, in sickness, or in health, or in health, to love, to love, to cherish, to cherish, forever, forever. <laughs> And may you say together, and with thee, and, and with, with thee, thee, I give thee, I give thee my love, my love. I share with thee, I share with thee my life, my, my life. life. And I look forward and to I, thee, and I look forward, forward to, to thee to be for us, to be with us together forever, to, to be, be with, with us, us together, together forever. forever. Amen. 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 Is there a ring? Oh, so I just put it on myself. Oh, I put this on you? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> place, place the ring upon her finger. This one? And repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods. And with all my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. One more time. With all my worldly goods. I thee and thou. I thee and thou. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Place the ring upon his finger. Oh my gosh. Which one? This one? Yeah. <laughs> with thee. With thee. I do wed. I do wed. With all my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. I thee employ. I thee employ. Forever. 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 And forever. And forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You may now kiss the bride. Oh. Make it Let us, let us pray. You may hold your right hands. You hold both of them. That's good. Let us pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer. Answer our supplication. Be with thee, your children, these your children, and grant unto them your joy even in the time of sorrow, your richness, even in the time of poverty, and certainly with your love, as we are to love thee always. Grant, we pray, that you would bless the newfound relatives that they will find in day from day to day after this service is over. May they know that as we live together, and live for each other. 
we are alive because of, your, of the joy and because of the life that you've given unto us. Grant, we pray, that you would teach us to pray as you taught your disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and forever. Amen. In accordance to the authority that has been given to me in this, the state of New Jersey, this fabulous country, the United States of America, and even God himself, for him to share with you from day to day, year to year, until he shall say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You may now say, thank you. Thank you. God bless you.
everybody and Mr. and Mrs. Brad. I need everybody on their feet. I now introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bradley. Make some noise! Y'all can do better than that. Make some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Bradley!
the longer you talk, the hungry you're going to get. So let us, let us bless the food before you get so hungry until you don't want what you have in front of you. But you should always, before you eat, thank the Lord for what you have to eat and think about those who wish to eat and don't have it to eat. If you are blessed today, let me hear you say amen. amen. If you believe in God today, let me hear you say amen. amen. Let us give God the praise for what he's already done. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to thee we come once again on this day to thank you for the privilege of being able to live a life well-pleasing in your sight. And we ask the Heavenly Father that you would bless this occasion, bless those who are responsible for us being here during this occasion. And we ask, Father, that as you bless the bride and the groom, bless those of us who come to share in their joy. And as we eat the food, the Heavenly Father, let us thank you for being able to have a place where we can eat and have something to eat. And we pray, Master, that your blessings will be with us not only now, but be with us always. In the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we ask these blessings. Amen. Amen. First, I would like to say, Hello, hello. First, I'd like to say, um, this has really been a blessing. Um, thank the Lord for um, giving me uh, not only my daughter, but giving me a new son. And um, uh, I'm, I, I just wish them all, all, all the best. Uh, me and my wife have married uh, 35 years, and yeah. Yeah. 35 years. And uh, the, the same Reverend Ely married us uh, July 30th, 1988, I think. But anyway, yeah. But it's been 35 years. And now he married my daughter and my future son now, now my son. And I'm just happy and, and, and I wouldn't miss this for the world. And I'm glad you all came out to enjoy this special occasion to share with us. And um, God is good. God is good. God is good. Okay. So, um, I'd like to uh, propose a toast and propose a toast and congratulate this union of my daughter and my son now and uh, wish you many years of happiness and uh, looking for some grandkids and let's keep it going. Enjoy. Everybody have a good time. All right, uh, first and foremost, for you guys that don't know me, my name is Dion. Uh, I'm Lemmy's best man. I want to say, first and foremost, I had a little speech yesterday. You guys know him. For the people who know me, I could be long witness. So I promise I'll keep this short. But I first want to say, me and Lemmy became best friends when we were five years old. And we've been friends ever since. We've been brothers ever since. But the person that I want to thank most for this is a woman because over I don't know how many years ago this woman was either on college she was strutting her stuff that made my uncle go hey girl what's your name so for y'all who don't know my uncle Dana met Aunt Trené Aunt Trené has this brother Libby and then me and Libby became friends so whatever Aunt Trené did that day to attract Uncle Dana thank you <laughs> But seriously, um, yesterday my speech was very heartfelt and warm. I just want to say that a lot of people in life aren't lucky enough to have a friend, a brother in arms, somebody that you can go to left, right, up and down and different, who's going to tell you you're wrong, who's going to tell you I, I believe in you, I forgive you, we'll fight, we'll argue, and then two seconds later we'll go, yo, bro, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I was just a little mad. Okay, we'll hug it out. Back to video games. 
let me know. I've always been a sentimental person. I'll always hug him. I'll be like, yo, bro, I miss you. I love you. He'll be like, yeah, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> I remember this one significant moment that I thought about in college. I had a girlfriend at the time. Lemmy and her got into an argument. And I was like, I don't want no parts of it. My girlfriend goes, you're not going to say anything to him? I'm like, that's between you two. So then I fake argue with Lemmy and I go, yo, bro, let me apologize. He said, no, I'm not wrong. She said this, I feel how I feel. And I go, let me just, just apologize. No, no. So then I had to fake argue with him. She leaves. I come back. I said, yo, you know, I had to do that for her, right? He said, I know. He said, I knew you wasn't mad at me. <laughs> but I can truly say, Lemmy, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for your selection of your woman of choice. Sophia, I couldn't think of a better woman for him to have in his life. Now that you'll take over for me, I, you know, I'll be around, but you know what? Take care of my boy. You know, Lemmy means more to me than anything in this world. I'll take a bullet for him. I'll take his sickness. I'll take anything to see him happy. And I tell you, I, I told everybody yesterday, I wish everybody was as lucky as I am to have a friend, a brother. He's not blood, but we've been brothers since the day we met, inseparable. And nothing in this world can tell me different. If I had a blood brother, it would be him. And I would want it to be him. And I can tell you this, we're inseparable. We don't talk every day, every month, every week, but it's every time we see each other, it's nothing but love. It's always, I've missed you, you're good. Hey, listen, I haven't heard from you in a minute. You good? Yep, okay. All right, I'll see you later. Done and foremost. So Lemmy, I love you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Now I'm here. <laughs> Do I have to repeat my speech? No, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I know, I, I know everybody. On a, on a real serious note, everybody, uh, there's, there's also one thing that I wanted to do while we were up here. If I could, for this one, if I could have everybody's undivided attention, this is something sacred and near and dear to us. So, for you guys who don't know, there's a third in this room. You can't see him, but he's here. Our friend Naji. <laughs> Naji Mercy. <laughs> Naji was, is our third. He's the person that completed this circle. Yeah, I don't know him, but we know him. And we know his presence is in here. He's in here acting up somewhere, <laughs> dancing, rapping, doing something that Naji does. But for you guys who don't know him, he was our he was our other wheel. He was our rock. Naji was a real important person to us. And I know he's not physically here, but his spirit is in his room with us. And I know there's nothing more than Najee's looking down, smiling at us right now, saying congratulations. He's probably doing a Bill Cosby impression, <laughs> something of that nature. So for my boy Najee, if everybody could just bow their heads for a moment of silence to honor and commemorate our friend, our brother, who is not here with us, but he's in this room. I, he's always with us. So we can take a second. You know, going forward, just real quick, and I'll end, I know I'm long. I wanna say, you know, everybody look to the left and right of you. Appreciate the people, your loved ones, your honored works, your friends. If you don't get a chance to say I love you, tell them I love you. I, I said this the other day. There we go, that's what I like to hear. The other day, I'll wrap this up real quick. Um, I'll finish here, I promise you, I promise. 
So most of you guys who, again, don't know me, um, Friday, I was in a tragic, near-fatal car accident, and I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be standing to say... to be with my friends, my family. The accident happened, it was crazy. I called Lemmy and I told him, I said, bruh, I thought I was gonna die. I was like, this accident was horrible. Me and him, we talked on the phone while I was in the hospital the whole time. I had to go get x-rays. Lemmy was like, make sure you call me back. It was like 20 minutes went by. Oh, sorry, there we go. 20 minutes went by. And he texts me, he's like, bro, you okay? Where are you? What are you doing? I'm like, yo, my bad. I'm getting x-rays just to make sure everything's good. But this is how much this guy cares about me, that he won't let minutes go alone. Even though I'm in the hospital and I'm okay, he's still worried about me. I can hear him crying on the other line. My point of this is, when you find a true friend, when you find a true friend, hold them near and dear, and keep close, keep tight. Tell them I love you through the good and bad. Love you, bro. Oh, good evening, good afternoon, good evening. So I had to write this. You guys know, you guys know that normally I'm like up here, I'm on my feet, but I got really emotional writing this, so bear with me. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, my name is Chloe, and it is my honor to stand before you today and say these words to my sister, my cousin, my brother Di, and her husband Lemmy. <laughs> Sophia, life has a funny way of revealing what matters most when it matters most. I always joke that timing has always been our superpower Although people may call it fashionably late, we always say we're right on top. Let's be honest, I mean, the party really doesn't start till we walk in. I credit this to our parents, our fathers and brothers, and as our story of divine timing made its debut, Sophia and I were born almost exactly a month apart. Her setting the tone in January, and me falling right behind in February of the same year. It's like God knew I needed a best friend. And a cousin, so he gave me both at the same time. As an only child, I can say I never really felt alone because I always had you right there by my side from the time I opened my eyes. And for this, I am blessed. I remember the many slumber parties that we had with our cousins. Cousins, make some noise. <laughs> Sharing laughs, spells, as we imagined how our life would be when we grew up. We'd fight over who be the pink Power Ranger. Yes, that was a thing. And dream about our perfect husbands how tall he'd be, what he look like, how many kids we hold, <laughs> and how he would sit right into our family. I must say, Lemmy, it's like she pulled you out of a distant memory and manifested you right here. Lemmy well. L-M-U-L, Mr. Calm, Mr. Cool and Composed, a perfect balance for our Sophia. She has always been very, very particular about the people she lets into our circle and our family. 
You could say, I had a feeling it was meant to be when you two started dating. The real test, the real test was when you met the fam. Oh no. And let's be honest, our cousins are not for the weak heart. And we tend to be very, very, very selective. You passed the test and initiation, give it up a lemming. Not just because Sophia basically manifested you, but because you fit so effortlessly into her life and into our lives. Lemmy, I gave you an assist. Y'all know he's a basketball player, right? I gave you the assist. Matter of fact, I gave you the alley-oop. The alley. Welcome to our family, brother. We know with ultimate faith that Sophia is in great hands. In your marriage, I wish you an abundance of love, patience, and the continued faith to know that God's timing is divine. Everything happens for a reason. And remember that life has a funny way of revealing what matters most. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and welcome to our family. And Lemmy's family, you guys are just so amazing. Like, you guys just, y'all were family the first day I met you, so now it's official. Thank you very much, and enjoy your evening.